Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Breaker. Welcome back to another video. It's about noon here. I went and picked up some lunch because I was out in the field all day. I didn't really get much recorded out in the field this morning. My camera's almost dead, so I let it charge in the truck, and then it was pretty much charged up when I got out of Casey's for lunch. So we got to head back to the new tractor. Um, I did say the last episode we did have a new tractor leasing for now to try out. So uh, we're going to get to that and uh, go to our next field because we got one field done. We just got to do one more field. It's a little tiny field, and we'll get it done in the video. And then we gotta go home. Currently, I right know all those people are at my house doing the barn. They also did my little. They're also gonna do my little garage for another hundred dollars each. So two grand's gonna be coming out today, which I don't mind. So we're gonna be spending like four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars today anyway. So or after all this is done. So yeah, guys, let's get right into the video. So we have our trailer here. Um, we actually had all these seed, all the seed on a PJ trailer, but the wooden um, boards broke like all like not all of them but some of them did so I was like you know what I'm not dealing with that so I threw them in my trailer and I told my dealership hey you can take the trailer back I don't want it anymore so we had to get a new trailer or not a tra new trailer but we had to put the seats on a different trailer but it was fine I guess rather else but today's gonna be pretty interesting so today we're actually not gonna have two barn we're not gonna have two barns today by then today we're not gonna two barns and I drove by there today they actually had the first barn down they already had the big barn the big red one they already had that one down. That was really cool. So I don't know how they got it down so early, but well, they've been out there for six hours. So I mean, I don't. I can see why. And then I think they're gonna start working on my white one after lunch. So that'll be kind of cool. Yeah. So um, I don't think I really explained in one of my videos why I've been gone for a while. And I guess this is kind of the time because you're just gonna be riding out to the tractor. So I guess I can kind of explain what's been going on. So I don't remember what time I uploaded my last video. I think it was, um, I think it was in June. So I think it was in June when, um, or June or July when I last uploaded. And I think after that, I was just not really wanting to do YouTube, I guess. I don't know if I had like a, I don't know if I lost a lot of motivation or what happened. I think, I can't remember what time it was around. It was that, or it was, uh, it was that, or it was school, or it was work. I think that was like one of the reasons. I think I was around getting ready to turn 16 at the point when I was um, recording. So I was more focused on all that stuff than YouTube. And I really didn't see YouTube being actually like, I don't know. I didn't see it really being in my future then. So I was like, oh, you know, maybe I'll just kind of try quitting. So I tried. I, I didn't want to do it like how I did it. I wish I did it in a lot more of a better way. Which was like, well, I'm going to take a break. You know, I need some time off. I wish I said like that instead. But, you know, stuff happens, I guess. So then, you know, I was working a lot, doing school, and I'm out of school, I'm out of work. Well, I'm not out of work, but I'm still in the midst of finding another work or another job. Well, I actually already did, but um, I'm going to try doing this as much as possible, really. This is kind of like more of a hobby. Well, not like kind of more of a hobby. Well, it was a hobby for me. I was like, well, I like entertaining people, and I did it really well, too, I, I could say. I thought I did, I did what I did really well. I really did. I still do, to this day, I think I do really good at what I do. But, you know... When I thought at the time I was having a lot of doubts on me, I was like, oh, I was better quit. But off that topic, here we are at the tractor. So, yep, we got a John Deere 8110. Well, this ain't ours yet. Possibly this will be ours. I'm not liking how the shortage of power in it. We need a bigger motor tractor. And I'm definitely going to John Deere. I'm not going to get another case. I ain't going to have two cases, one John Deere. I'm going to have a John Deere tractor because I want variation on the farm. Which I was also considering buying a Massey Ferguson or one of those tractors, but there's not really many to choose from. We need to pick a bigger brand. But these tractors are perfect. These are like the perfect tractors. These are really easy to find parts on, common. Um, you know, I can go on to online if I need to find something to work on. Like if something's wrong, I can like type out what's the issue to this and it'll show me the possibility right there. It won't be like the John Deere 4455. We have the John Deere 4455 at the shop right now because they are looking over it, seeing if everything's all right. And I'm going to trade that in for this. And I think also planter's going to go in that deal as well and um, trade that in for a new planter or cedar, either one. But uh, hopefully soon we can get that all taken care of. I want to get a John Deere, uh, I think, I think an 8300 would be good for us. Let me check how much power was in the 4455 because I have it in my phone somewhere. So the 4450 or 4455, excuse me. The 4455 had uh, 148 horsepower, and this one has 187. And I think this planter needs like 200 horsepower to 
pull it and it pulls pretty well but it's you know we need we need it over 200 we need definitely over 200 horsepower tractor to pull this we should not be struggling with this as much as we are but it's working i'm going to tell them that after i get bring this back i'm going to tell them hey i need a bigger power tractor for my planter rather else we need to trade in my planter get a smaller planter or something i don't know so yeah but let's uh let's get in here let's get going So yeah, so we just got done with lunch. We got some lunch from Casey's. Casey's Pizza is so good at lunchtime. It's just so good. But it is really good. I love I love Casey's. I'm gonna let you guys know something that you guys don't know. I might not be enjoying this because this is not this is my least favorite season of the year. Spring is my least favorite season of the year. I hate planting. I just hate planting. I hate having to do all the stuff, and then we have to go into um, fertilizing all that stuff next season pay for all that and then we got to get our crops back out of the ground it's just a whole mess i mean getting the crops out of my ground out of, getting the crops out of the ground is my favorite part of this but my least favorite part is just this planting part i don't like it one bit we got a finer field but um i don't know if i said it in the last did i say in the last video what i was going to do next yeah i did say in the last video um so i'm thinking about buying a cattle getting a cattle um getting some cattle next year so kind of right now i'm trying to look out for some land that we can buy put grass down on and mow it up and rake it up, bale it, bring it back to the farm, feed them. That's what I'm trying to find right now, and I don't know what to do. I really do want a cattle farm, or a cattle, cattle this year, or next year. It's too late for this year, next year maybe. This is our field right here, I believe. What the heck happened to our crop here? Oh, this is a cotton field last year, so we're gonna do no-till over this. I don't know if we can do, can we do no-till on cotton? I don't know if we can do that or not. I don't know if we can plant this down or not. Let me look at this. I don't know if we can plant over this stuff or not. I don't want to try it either. This is a little patch of corn. Uh, we'll just go back. Uh, let's figure this out. Well, that's kind of stupid. We're going to have to get a disc down here this spring. And do that. I got to do it before um, it pushes me out. So I need to get a uh, get my uh, ripper down here and rip that up. Because we can't. We can't just do it at like any time. We gotta do it now or now or never really. So if we don't do it now, then we won't have time to do it next then we will have to wait till next year to do that that field. So I'm kinda just wanting to rip that up and get it out and then get our new field in. Or get this field planted in. Oh man, it's such a struggle being a farmer. I don't know how how everyone can do it. Man, I'm really hoping in the next few years I can actually get some good fields down. Well, after this year I'm hoping to get a good big field out. You know, do you think we should just go grab the ripper on the on the case and use that? I don't know if I want to or not. We'll just go up to our next field. We have a field all the way up here that we need to do anyway. Man, look at that truck right there. So we're going to leave our tractor here every night. That's what I'm going to plan on doing with it. Just parking it here every night. I really don't care. Park it there. Be done. So we don't have to deal with that. Struggle bring it back and forth. I don't like that idea. When we're closer to our fields, I think I'll do that. But when we're so far away from our fields like this, we are literally half across the county. You know, I don't feel like driving two hours back to, uh... It's only going to take like an hour or two to get back to the farm. So, might as well just keep it somewhere in the field. And then when we get closer and closer, um, we can actually have somebody just drive me out there, get the tractor, bring it home. Boom. There. No, but this tractor is really good. I, li I love this tractor. I'm liking it, but... Just like I said, I need some more power for it because, um, you know, this tractor or this piece of uh, equipment behind me needs more power to be able to be pulled. It pulls, like I said, it pulls like a tank, but I would like more, you know. I think this, I think this machinery, this machine is, uh, off the top of my head, I'd say, uh, probably like, I think I said 187, I think, yeah. And this piece of machinery behind me, I think requires like 200. I can't remember exactly how much this reti re retires, requires, but it's like 200, 250, 225, I don't know. I was even thinking about just getting a bigger track than this and getting like a uh, John Deere, like, big one, like a 9000 series, but that's too big for our farm. Way too big. Maybe like a K-Side Steiger. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, guys. I really don't know. I'm really confused. I might actually run up back up to the, sh uh, well, since we're so close, I might as well run up to there and talk to the guys and see if we can get a bigger piece of machinery out. Like, bigger piece of, um, this. See if they have anything bigger than this. Like this generation, but 8300, 8310, 8400, 8410. One of those. I want the biggest we can get possible. So, 
And I'm trading a piece of equipment too, so I ain't like I'm just buying this like out of my pockets. I'm kinda concerned selling the uh case. I'm considering it and just making this all around tractor for everything. And look at this farm up here. I'd, this would be the kind of type of farm I'd work for. Something like this. This would be the type of farm I want. So yeah, so I'm still trying to figure out what to do for the farm. So I've been looking around. I saw some designs from Missouri. Um, I think Medicine Creek, I think that's the place, or Madison Creek. I can't remember the place exactly, but um, I went, I uh, checked out like some farms online down there. I checked out some, I just checked out some designs in general. And I like the idea of instead of having the farm, uh, the house in the back, having the house in the front like that. Let me pull in. There, there's the house. Oh, wait, this is our field right here. Whoa, almost missed it. But like I was saying, yeah, I would like a field like a field like that instead, or like a farm like that instead. I'll unfold this. But like I was saying, yeah, I'd like a farm like that kind of. It's just you can go drive in the front, boom, there's your house. You don't have to drive all the way in the back. There's your house. So what we're gonna do is in that main that first main entrance that we have, is that we are gonna put down a house right out there. And then from there, uh, and then from that there on out. We are going to, uh, what's it called? Then we're going to have a shop kind of far back. It's going to be our biggest shed possible. Um, then, yeah, we're going to have one shed from there. And then we're going to have another. And then we're going to have like another like little quant set. And then we're going to have we're gonna have like two sheds. Or one, sh one cool sword shed. A quant set to work on all of our equipment. And we're going to have a cattle barn, grain equipment. That's it. Literally probably the smallest setup possible. But it'll be just quick and simple. And just remember that that Quonset shop, whatever, ain't gonna be always empty. It's gonna be pretty filled up sometimes. But that's what I really want to do is just make it a uh, make that our kind of farm idea. I don't know some farmer in Missouri named uh, Chad. He was sending me pictures of his farm, and he's like, "Yeah, this is a pretty good design." You know, I did. You know, my family designed it 100 years ago, and they did the farm from behind as well. They did the farm in the back or the house in the back for a while. So, uh, he was, he was wanting to, uh, revamp that as well. So he did revamp that and he did really good on that. So I thought he did really well. I, I do like that farm from behind. It's really cool. I do like that style he has. I like the green and white sheds more like than any other sheds ever. Like, I don't know why. I don't know what makes the difference between the two, but I mean, that's like my favorite kind of shed. It's just a green and white or a green on tan, tan on green, my favorite type. And he has like, I think that's his cold sword shop. And then he has the range set up and then he has the quan set so i mean he's he's got it really well he, i mean he built it really well i'd say myself he built it pretty well but that's what i'm really hoping for the farm to be like this year next year but we're gonna we gotta get all these fields planted down and we gotta worry about these fields first and then the rest of spring we're gonna worry about the house because in summertime that's when it's spraying season spraying season's on all summer long i also might rather paint for a person to go and spray in the fields or just doing it myself which we already have the sprayer but that sprayer is pretty old. I don't like how old that sprayer is. So I don't really want to try that myself. You know, one luxury to this tractor is having AC in this thing. This thing is awesome with AC, all right? I'll be honest with you. It's awesome. Never had a tractor myself with AC in it. It's awesome. I'll try it out sometime. I'll just get another tractor like this. I think our case actually has AC in it, but I don't think it works. The 4455 definitely does not have AC in it. That's literally just a cab slapped on top. But um, we're going to get this field all planted down. I think I'm just going to cut it off. Or I might even do a time lapse. So if we do a time lapse, you guys will see that for a little bit. We're going to get this section done at least. And then I think we'll start in the next section. I don't know though. So yeah, so I guess I'll keep planting until 6 o'clock uh, on the game. So yeah, I'll be back when we get this all done. All right, guys, so we're making a few passes here. Oh. And let me try lifting it up. What? Am I clicking the right button? Let me click the right button. Yep, I'm doing... What? Sheesh. I want to call him now. Great. All right, let's just pull it around. I'm not trying to get any of my crap, but... Great. Deer down. Stop it here. 
can't disconnect it either, I don't think. Well, I can, but it ain't gonna do too well. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I try getting back. Why is it not? Just, why is it not? It's not anything on there. I'm not seeing anything broken. It's broken for lifting it up at all. Here's the wheels. Nothing's broken for lifting it up. None of the cylinders are broken, right? All the hoses and wires are good. What happened? Is there a check engine light or anything on the... Or anything that says it's beeping at us? No. Here it again. No. That's sweet. I love that. So it's rather I call them or I just work this field out and I call them when I after I get it done. Which would be the right thing to do. The right thing to do is just call them right now so I can get this all figured out. I guess I can call them. Let's just call them real quickly. Hey, how you doing? Uh, is Joe there? Okay, I'll wait. They got me on hold. I can't believe this crap. Hey, Joe, how you doing? Good. So, you remember that 8110 I'm um, leasing right now? Just to try out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm sitting in the field right now. I am I could see the shot from here. Uh, you know how when you go out, take the field all the way down? Uh, the field's kind of by by the uh, Gregors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember that field I own? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm having a problem with the tractor. It's not one to um, pull up my cedar. I've tried everything. It's not working. So, you might have to come down here. You can't be there right now? Uh, what, what else can I check? There's no engine light. There's nothing like beeping at me or anything. Okay, I'll try that. Alright. Thanks. Yep. Alright. I'll call you if it doesn't work at all. I'll call you if it doesn't work. I won't call if it works, alright? Alright. Thanks. Yep. See ya. Alright, so there's something... I think he said there's something inside the cab, like an ODB2 scanner. So we'll try that out. Get it in here. Should be in here, he said. Oh, right there. Perfect. Alright, so let's just plug it in. Start it up. And then I'll say turn off, turn it off. So what it's saying is the switch, the okay. So the scanner, I just got done with it. It's saying something with the switch wire is like going out, but there's an auxiliary like switch I can use, so I can move it up, move it down. So I gotta use that until until meantime. But, sheesh, that sucks. Well, let's see where the auxiliary switch is as right here. Up, oh, perfect. Yep, we got her. That sucks. All right, sorry, somebody called me while I was planting. Those kids actually called me and they're like, hey, we just got it done. Uh, we'll be sitting here in the meantime, waiting for our pay. I go just I just told them to sit back at the farm and I'll be back there in like half an hour. Man almighty. I can't believe they already got that done. They said a bunch of stuff's laying around, so I, I told them to leave all the stuff where all the other stuff belongs. So like all the wood for the garage, put it where the garage was. All the wood for the shop, put it where the shop was. And they go, okay. So they did as I said and got it done. I was pretty surprised I actually got that done just now. Well, I think it took them 6 to 12 to get that first one, that first shop done. Because I know they just were wrapping it up when um I was uh pulling in. They were just wrapping it up. And then they texted me and they uh, were like, yeah, we're going to go to lunch. I'm like, that's fine. I'm like, you guys deserved it. I don't, I don't think I should labor them all day, but not the right thing to do. That's the complete last thing I want to do is labor them. But um, yeah. So I told them they can go to lunch, and it looked like it was really good. It was really close. Like it was all gone on that first one. That second one, I was like, "You guys can do an extra hundred if you want. Extra hundred if you guys do the garage." I'm like, yeah, we could do it. So they did it, and those kids. The kids that live in that farm across from me, they, uh, they're they going to bring some dirt over, I think they said. Or they already did it, actually. They brought some dirt over and made me a new path, which was really nice of them, uh, for my uh, farm. Because they know I'm about ready to build a second one. They're like, well, we can just put this down and then you'll have another path right there. It's like, all right, perfect. So, not two paths. That would be awesome to use for next year. Or at any time, really. For big load, you know, big trailers and all that stuff. 
they've seen me trying to struggle get out get in there getting out of there's my semi so i was like oh that's perfect you know i was pretty nice they, they didn't even charge me either they're like well we'll just we won't even charge you for that which is pretty nice of them i'm gonna wrap this up and then we're gonna get to the we're gonna go drop our tractor off just gonna clean up all this stuff here we didn't really miss that much but i want to get it all cleaned up so we have it all gone So this is how I'm going to do this for the series. So like when we're planting and spraying all that, I'm going to spray like, so this is what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to do one video of this like recording the planting. And then we're going to plant another field not on camera. So we planted the first field not on camera. We're going to plant this field on camera. Or on camera. The last field will possibly go on stream. Like this is going to be all type, all everything. So like harvesting, yeah, we'll, we're probably going to record harvesting a lot more than, um, than usual. So harvesting will be recorded a lot more and streamed, I believe. I believe I'll stream some of that, too. That'll be fun streaming, sitting around harvesting fields. What I, what I want to do is, like, I want to get corn, you know, do corn, and then... I don't know how we're going to do it, because I want to do, like... So we're going to do, like, some fields of corn, some field of corn, or... I don't know how I'm going to do it. I want to do, like... I think what we'll do is some fields on stream, some fields not. So like the big fields we're going to do on stream. Like the little tiny fields, like the one by the house, we're not going to do on stream. Well, maybe it's just based on what we're doing then. It'll just be based on what we're doing. If we really want to get it done, we can get it done for sure. I don't think there's, I think there's something else over here. I guess not. We'll get up here and we're going to go back to the farm. Just drive the tractor there, but I don't want to waste a lot of time driving this tractor there and driving it back. Waste all my time doing that. No point to it. Forgot about this part. Got folded up. But yeah, this is really fun doing that. Got most of this field done. I think we got like, I don't know. Let me check on my map. I would say we ever got half of this field done. We got over, we got over half of it done. So this is our second field being planted. We have six fields to plant, by the way. So this is our second field being planted. And then we need to get three soybean fields, one corn field left. Uh, that field that's sitting, I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. That's really that's starting to confuse me a little bit. I don't know what to do for that. I'm really hoping that we can get that. All settled out. Well, before we start actually getting the farm all built up, we are gonna build some areas where we need to uh, like, um, where we're gonna be like kind of, we need to like make the, make the outlay of it. So, like we'll make the main, I guess, traffic area first, and then we'll put down, we'll go ready to build some buildings up. Then we'll, then we'll see what we have. Then and we'll lay some more little side roads down, I guess, and then. There we go. Farm. I don't want my whole farm being gravel. That would just be stupid. Like, it'd be nice, but, like, not my whole farm being gravel. Like, I want some, like, thick mud. Some dirt. Some thick mud. You know. As we travel in and out, we're going to get some more and more travel. Or some more and more mud as we go. Yeah, but we are going to have to... Go home after this. Go check it out. Pay them the two grand that I, off, that I promised them. And then uh, they're off. And then I'm off for the night. Mm, I think we'll start. The last shed we're going to take down for sure is going to be the um, big the new machine shed. Or that new newest shed we got there. We might possibly just keep that. I think we'll just possibly just keeping that. And then putting the... Uh, big shed in the back but I don't want to do that at the same time look at that shop right there look at that kind of farm that'd be kind of cool something like that something a little compact Marty's Marty's place I wonder where he put my new truck at not Marty that's not Marty that's uh, somebody else I can't remember that is Marty's over there whoops 
but yeah, that that guy over there, I can't remember his name. I think his name's John. John's pretty cool. I like him. There's Jim's house. Jim's kind of more of like Jim and John hang out pretty good much. They're they're like really good buddies. They both go camping and all that stuff. Marty's kind of the loner, really. Well, so am I. I don't really have a lot of friends out here. I think the only friend I have out here is like James. It's probably about it. Cool James, though. James is pretty cool. See you later, Tratter. See you tomorrow. I'll definitely be in that tractor tomorrow. For sure. I'll definitely be in that tractor tomorrow. You don't know how stressful it is just sitting in that tractor all day. Not being able to do really much. It really is. It's fun driving in there, but it's just like, it gets stressful after a while. You don't, you know, you gotta, all those people that you gotta call all day. I listen to the radio quite a bit in there. I listen to more music. I don't really listen to like the rate, the news a lot. Sometimes I listen to some off the husk in there, you know, here and there. But it gets really stressful because then I'm out there stressing out. Nothing really to do out here. <laughs> to be honest, there's nothing really out here. It's just a farm. That's it. Nothing, no family, no friends. What well, kind of family? There's some family, but it's not, not here, there, and, they're in McGregor, so, yeah. We lived in McGregor for a little bit, and then we moved to, or, yeah, was it McGregor? Yeah, it was McGregor, Iowa. Then we moved to Moore, or Burksville. I think it was, I think it was Burksville, not Moore. Then we moved to here. So, we've had quite an eventful uh, past, like, year or so around here. Now we're kind of settled out, settled, settled out. And we will hopefully get this all, you know, dealt with, dealt with. Hopefully we'll get this all dealt with. I knew these people kind of well. Um, my parents knew these guys kind of well as well. Like, these people were pretty... These guys kind of knew my parents. They would talk, you know. Uh, they were actually friends in school. Well, my mom was friends with the um, a guy that owns this farm. So when I was going to buy it, he's like, I'm going to cut you some slack. He cut me, like, ten thousand dollars out of it because he knew because uh he knew i was kind of struggling but it didn't still stop me from dropping a loan out but i didn't really expect that to come out i was expecting this one is four hundred thousand dollars but he's like well i'll call you ten grand since i'm getting four hundred k out of it and then they moved to uh florida living the rest of their life there lucky they should have brought me there oh man nothing there jeez it's so bland right now so bland There we go. We are home. Just gotta go home. I'm gonna go in here, pay them, pay them all. Just ten of them. Got two hundred dollars from each. And I go home. Yeah, they did build a new path. That's awesome. That was nice of them. Right, let's pull into here. I don't know where they're at, but I'm not seeing them really showing up anywhere. All right, I'll be back when I get this done. Yeah, but that's what I'm kind of planning on, you know. Take that house down, put a new one up. Put a shed kind of where the new, current one is, but back it up a little bit. And put a quonset, make it a little repair shop, and then grand system where the trees are right now, and that's about it, I think. And then that'll be pretty much simple. Yeah, I know it's going to be expensive. Why did you get rid of all your buildings? Oh, yeah. So what do you guys do? You guys just retire? So I thought, okay, what are you guys gonna do with all these grain bins anyway? Just gonna keep them there, I guess. Yeah. You guys think about taking them all down? Yeah. Hmm. It's a pretty nice grain bin setup. I'll be honest, big one too. So like, what happened to the farm? Oh, okay. So you're saying that after your parents died, um, your parents lived here, right? Okay, so your parents had it set up where the farm split, and you only got um, the the family farm, the family, the main area, and some of the land like here and like some of the land here. That's all you got. Jeez, that sucks. So the farm was basically split up, and there's not so you didn't have any many acres. Okay, that's that's not that sucks. Are you looking at selling any of your acres at all? Kind of. I'm, well, hey, keep me in contact, all right? I'm going to go and get home, park all this stuff. I'm getting tired, so. Yeah, I'll see you around. All right, I like, I like that guy. I like Ed. He's pretty cool. But, um, no, I'm just talking to the neighbor. I like that guy. 
That kind of sucks. I never really knew that's why they got rid of all their farm equipment, but... Or all their buildings. I like that guy. That guy's really cool. He taught me a lot. But we gotta get going home. We're gonna use our new lane for once. Here we go. Just test out the first lane for the first time. So much better. I like it. There we go. Perfect. We'll back this in the shed and be done for the day. There we go. There we go. We are done with that for today. So, tomorrow we're hopefully going to be getting that field planted. And uh, I think that field's going to be... This is a Tuesday. This is going to be a Tuesday video. So, Tuesday, I'm going to have this video go up in the morning. And I think in the afternoon, whenever I'm free, we're going to do a little two-hour stream, I think. Uh, we're going to plant that field. We're going to maybe bring the ripper uh, all the way from up here down to that last cotton field. Rip that field up, plant it, be done. And then... Um, yeah, so from there on, we should actually have all this stuff thrown out. All this stuff should be gone. They're supposed to come pick it up tonight. So, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to do a stream on Tuesday, if we're going to do a stream on Wednesday or what. I don't know what we're going to do yet. I want to do a stream on... Um, I think we'll do a stream on Thursday, actually. So, this video will be on Tuesday. we we'll record Thursday, do a stream on then on the afternoon Thursday. That should be good. So, yeah, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Um... You guys can go down. If you guys really want to help me out, if you guys really like this content, you guys can go down, hit the like button, subscribe, comment down when you guys saw the video, and also share the video. It would really help me out if you guys shared the video and shared it with all your friends. That really helped me out. So, yeah, guys, thank you for the support, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.